Hey guys, Legend of Zelda fan 331 here, and I'm gonna talk about E3 2012 on the Wii U and games about it while watching this guard sword stuff. Yeah. So since we're looking at Zelda right now, let's start off by talking about the Zelda little mini game thing. So we have Zelda quest battle from the game Nintendo Land. Um, it kind of reminds me of, it's got the controls for Scarred Sword, and, but it's kind of like, more like Wii Sports, but, except when you have the Scarred Strike and stuff. Player 1 and Player 2 will have the sword and the shield and run around, killing enemies and doing puzzles, while, um, uh, well, player 3 and player 4 will have the Wii U gamepad, and they'll be playing as, well, they'll be playing as the other coloured Link, it's kind of like four swords, but they'll have the bow instead, so they can take out long range. And you'll play as your me with Link costumes. Um, it looks kind of cool, I'll be getting it myself, and it comes with some other games like... Uh, Luigi's Haunted Mansion mini game kind of stuff, and that, and this Donkey Kong little one thingy, and there is this Animal Crossing Chase one. I don't really know about much about it. They've they've also got some New Super Mario Bros. U, which I'll be doing an LP of one day, and they'll have and they have New Super Mario Bros. Two two new Super Mario Bros at the same time. It's pretty cool. So, they have two little Mario games at the same time, and I'm looking forward more to the Wii U one, cause could, so I'll try out the controls and stuff. And the Wii U one will have up to five players instead of four players. Because it'll have Mario Luigi, the Colored Toads. Yeah. Okay. Wait a sec. It will have the Colored Toads, Mario and Luigi. And a one player will have the gamepad. And he'll be like, t he's, when he touches the screen, a block will appear. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty cool. And and New Super Mario Bros. 2 will be about, well, collecting coins. And you, there's something about collecting a million coins and you unlock stuff. And it has stuff to do with coins. It has a coin rush mode. It has lots of stuff to do with coins. There's even this suit where Mario turns gold and he'll be practically invincible. He can turn everything in gold. There are these item box blocks that give you like 50 to 100 coins if you're lucky. Um, enemies will give you coins when they're golden. Uh, just wait a sec. Thinking. Okay. Yeah, em enemies will give you coins when they're golden. When you attack them and kill them. And there's a new looking Goomba, but it's basically the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they also showed off Paper Mario 3DS, which will be called Paper Mario Sticker Stars. And it looks pretty interesting so far. It has a lot to do with stickers and paper strings. And you have... And the RPG kind of stuff is different. You have to help people out to level up some things and the battle limb looks really cool because there are different ways Mario can smack his hammer at the enemies and stuff so there's another game Luigi's Mansion 2 which also got another name it's called Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon I can remember it by the, that movie Transformers Dark Moon Dark of the Moon but that game looks really cool I, I, at E3 I saw um, this funny part where Luigi's in the elevator, he's just like happy and all and then the elevator crashes he's like, oh no! 
and he starts getting scared. It's kind of funny. So, they also show, we're talking a bit about uh, Pokemon. They talked a bit about Pokemon Black and White version 2. And um, they said there's going to be this thing called, well, I got, you know, Pokedex 3D. They're making a Pokedex 3D Pro, which has all your Pokemon stuff. Like, all the Pokemon from over the whole Pokemon universe. universe. You can see every single Pokemon. Yeah. And they also showed off something I found really interesting. Which was Lego City Story, no, yeah, it used to be called Lego City Stories, but now it's called Lego City Undercover, yeah. And it's really cool, it kind of reminds me of that kind of Grand Theft Auto, uh, Saint Row kind of thing, just with Lego and, you know, you're good instead of bad and... None of that kind of stripper stuff or anything. Blah. So overall, I thought E3 was pr E3 was pretty good. I can't wait to see more about these games. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in New Super Mario Brothers Wii Part 3. So see you then. Goodbye.